Hi Virgo, welcome to your love reading. How are you? I hope everything is fine with you and I will try to see your current situation in different perspectives. The first will be about looking if you're single, if you're looking for a new uh, connection. Uh, the second scenario will be if you are having some challenges in the current situation or you have still some thoughts or still thinking about the person from the past. Let's see what do we have. First, let's shuffle three more times. Okay. So let's start with the first card at the top will be about if you're single and if you're looking for a new connection or just single. The second is if you're still thinking about somebody from the past. If you're single, I think you will have options or you have already options, but uh, you are confused. You cannot make up your mind. If you should choose one option or if you should choose to, to be in a connection or start a connection, some of you are feeling quite confident and independent by yourselves. Or you may have gotten used so much to be by yourself. Like being in a relationship might seem like something very frightening. But let's clarify why the two of swords, five of swords, especially you, you fear conflictual connections. You fear problematic uh, connections that have problems with the dialogue, the communication, or just people that play games. That might be the blockage for you. Now, if you're thinking about somebody, Knight of Wands, I think you still have that desire for this person. You want a positive change. Some of you, your wish fulfillment is to be with them, but in a much more harmonious, uh, balanced connection, a better version of it. You have interests. You are at crossroads now. You want to give this connection a better chance but they should do more um, you don't want those negative patterns anymore there somehow you have some inner doubts about some red flags that you still see in the current um, situation but what is the advice for both of you both cases ace of wands at the bottom the star now, if you have had problems with healing completely, I think a new connection, especially a connection that you still that passion and desire, that you are fully 100% connected or interested, it might help you to heal much faster. I have the star card at the bottom and the ace of wands. A new beginning, a new passionate one, this is the message, will heal you completely from some toxicity of the past. Now, I'm not quite sure if this is a completely new person or if this is the same person from the past that is coming back, but a better version of themselves. I'm not quite sure, but a new beginning, a new connection uh, will solve any self-doubts or will bring back the confidence uh, that you have in love, that you had in love, especially in the past. A new beginning, a new passionate one. I will leave it there, Ace of Wands, and I will continue the reading with the general spread. And let's hope we will get some more details here. Let's shuffle three more times. Okay, starting with what is affecting you in your subconscious, the lessons from the past, the current energies, some important advice, hopes, fears, what you want to focus or avoid, and let's see more about somebody, about somebody that is on your mind. Starting with what is affecting you in your subconscious, 
stability. You cannot find that stability in love, that stable, secure partner that is committed, that is mature on the way they talk, on their needs, on their goals, that is more financially independent, that works on themselves, has more confidence, most of you, I think, have had problems with stability in a connection in the past. What is some lesson? The moon. Especially a connection from the past was causing you lots of stress and anxiety, uncertainty. And you continue to stay in that connection. You continue to stay because either you love them deeply and dearly, or possibly you try to believe that time would heal it, they would change and there would be some progress, but it never did. It might have even gotten worse, unfortunately. And the lesson here for you is that if you think like everything is going to the south, it is not working no matter what effort. And if this person is giving you headaches, stress, anxiety, moving away happiness from you, what is even the point of staying in that connection? You have already the answers. You might love them, but if they don't love you, you might get uh, have interest, attraction, desire, but if it is not reciprocated and if it is not appreciated, you have no choice but probably to choose yourself, not to choose them. That is the surest fires, uh, the best way uh, to to have progress and success. Either way, they will get you down and make you feel like you don't deserve to be in a connection, or make you feel very, very low emotionally. So it's not worth it. If you see, like, no matter what efforts, it is not appreciated. And it is causing you uh, your happiness. It is too expensive for you. Now, what about some more advice? Knight of Wands. Some of you are attracted to, in the beginning especially, to somebody that shows affection, desire and attraction to you. That they shower you with lots of attention. And you think this is the person. They seem quite passionate. They seem like they are more attracted to you like you are attracted to them and this might be the person and that you should give them a chance but what happens is that it doesn't pass uh, too much time and they are very unreliable and inconsistent uh, with you and if this is the case this might be a very inconsistent not mature person that no matter what affection they showed in the beginning maybe uh, that is their game you don't need to spend your life with somebody and wait for them to mature along with you. You want an already mature partner to share your life with. A stable one. A serious one. Do not be focused or based just on the attraction and desire that they show you in the beginning. Are they consistent with this? The energies cannot lie. They may say something else with words and do the contrary with actions. So just keep this in mind. What about the current energies, Knight of Cups? I think there's a loving person coming your way. A person that wants to send you compliments, love messages, maybe love bombing you. For some of you, it might seem too strong, like out of nowhere or without much expectations. Here they are. And they are showing you out of the blue so much affection. Where was this person? How did this happen? That kind of energy. Now, I have a Pisces here. Water, fire and earth. Uh, so, almost all signs. But Pisces is here emphasized. You have been so guarded in love or not trusting. And that has been your focus, probably not to trust that easily, a new person or a past person. But you are realizing that it's not worth it. Uh, what this uh, energy is affecting is you mostly. 
like you are not getting new experiences, like you are not enjoying yourself more, and I don't think you want to be so guarded anymore. You might want to be practical, practical and logical since the very beginning, but not be turning off any opportunities that are around you. And you have lots of opportunities with that Seven of Cups. Lots of opportunities. Some of you might be thinking, okay, I don't have any opportunities right now. This is the energy of your wishes. You want to have opportunities and you will be having options. I think most of you have had some options already, but you may, might not have very, been very satisfied with those options. You might have had greater expectations or you might have created in your mind a specific kind of person that you wanted to meet. But keep in mind that they might not come the way you might have envisioned or imagined them. The energy might be the same, but the package, how they come, might not be the same and you might even get surprised. But the outcome, you wanting options, will be manifested. And keep in mind, out of all those seven cups, one of those is pure gold in value. Pure gold in value. It is quite good. But it is your homework to figure it out. Who is this person? Not all those are good. In fact, if you can look at this card, if you can see here, there's a toxic connection. There's a promising one. An alluring energy here. A sneaky behavior. A person that is just wanting superficial things. A gold digger. You have some different options here, but one of those is great, is pure gold in value. It is your duty, your homework, based on your intuition and your experience, especially to figure who is this person. But this gift is being thrown at you. Look around you. There is a great opportunity around you. That is some message I'm getting here for you. Now about the person that is on your mind. Let's see about them. What are their energies towards you? Ace of Pentacles and Six of Cups. Okay, this person misses you a lot. They miss spending time with you. They recall those memories when you were great friends as well. When you were drinking coffee together, discussing the problems together, how it started, like the best friendship ever. Like they were not only your lover, but your best friend as well. They miss those uh, gold times. They have nostalgia about the past. Ace of Pentacles. Let's talk as friends at least. Let's talk as friends at least. That's what they want to tell you. They miss you a lot. That's for sure. I'm stopping this reading here. And if this resonated with you, I will continue this in the extended with, with even more details about the person that is on your mind. What are their energies right now? The extended video is in the description box below about the person on your mind with their energies at this moment, right now. So you can find it there if you are interested. I hope this reading was helpful. See you the next reading and bye for now.